Please excuse this Vaseline mark that is above my lip. I did not know it was there while I was filming and it is killing me while I am editing this video. I do wipe it off, but please just excuse it while it is still here. If you related videos, drop that in the comments. Any other videos you want to see, drop in the comments. Um, so yes, let's get into the video. So the first step to a gray suit press is detangling your hair. This just makes your wash way easier, your blow dry way easier, and it makes it easier for your hair to get straight. So I just like to part my hair in sections. So I'm just going to do this side, and then I'm going to do this side and this side. I like to detangle my hair like two comb and a wig brush i'm tender headed y'all so you want to make sure you comb from your roots i mean from your ends to your to the root of your hair Okay, so right here I am just detangling my hair, flipping between my wide tooth comb and my wig brush. I'm going between each section, making sure I do a great detangle. Um, when you are detangling your hair, you want to start from the end of your hair to the root of your hair. This causes less tension and it'll also revert to less shedding in the end. Vaseline off because it was definitely hating trying to ruin my video. All right, so now that my hair is already tangled, we're gonna go head to the wash. Um, it wasn't that tangled, so it wasn't that much of a struggle for me. But like I said, I am really tender headed, so it doesn't matter either way. It was gonna hurt. But so now we're gonna start with the actual wash. Okay, so this is the shampoo and conditioner I'll be using, which I love. It's really inexpensive. You can get it from Target for about 5 to $6 per bottle. Um, right now, I'm just going to check my water temperature. I like it nice and warm when I am doing my wash. So right now, I'm just soaking my whole head with water. You want to make sure your entire head is completely wet. After that, I'm going to grab a great amount of shampoo, and I am going to scrub my scalp. You want to scrub your scalp to remove all of the dead skin, all of the product buildup, and get a great, great wash. all of this shampoo out of my hair um, my faucet head extends so I like to take it and run it through my hair just to make sure and to help me get all of the shampoo out you do not want to leave any product in your hair So now I'm going to deep condition my hair. 
Um, for me, my hair loves it when I deep condition it. I get better results from my silk press, so I am going to do a deep condition. So now I'm just sectioning my hair off, and then I'm going to begin to detangle the front section of my hair. Okay, now I'm going to actually apply my conditioner so you can just see I am rubbing it all through my hair, uh, making sure that every piece gets saturated. I am then going to do a twist. You can do a twist, you can do a braid, whatever works for you. And yes, I'm going to do this to my entire head. I like to also put some on my edges because everything just needs to be conditioned. My hair loves conditioner. As I continue to do the rest of my hair, I am going to let my deep condition sit for about 15 minutes. I usually let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, today, I let it sit for 15 minutes. That's what works for me. And then I'm going to be ready to rinse it out. Okay, so now it's time to rinse our conditioner out. When you are rinsing out your conditioner, you want to make sure you use cold water. Not warm, not hot, but cold water. The cold water is going to close your pores and help keep all of the nutrients, everything that the conditioner has in your scalp. Now that that's done, we're gonna be able to go into our blow dry. So I'm gonna go in with my Silk Elements Heat Protectant, which you can find at the beauty supply store. I think Walmart has it, um, but I'm just spraying a great amount of this over my head um, because we don't really want heat damage. Um, and then I go in and rub it in with my fingers. I run my fingers through my head and massage it through my scalp. And now I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off. So I'm gonna section it off into three parts. Um, this will be the first part. I'm going to use my little hair clip. Okay, so now that that is done, my hair is sectioned off. I'm going to go in with my wig brush and I'm going to detangle the part that I'm about to blow dry. This helps to make sure that it, your hair is really, really straight and that you have no problems easily just running the blow dryer through it. Okay, so now I'm going to use my blow dryer that I got from Walmart. Um, I like to use the blow dryer with the comb clip on the end. It gets your hair really, really straight. Um, now what I'm doing is just pulling my hair, not too hard, um, and I'm running my blow dryer through my hair at a downward angle. I'm working my way up, but I'm holding my blow dryer in a downward motion. I'm going to go through that and do this for this entire section. This is how this section looks after I'm done blow drying it, which is really good. So now I'm gonna go into the next section, detangling it and doing the same exact thing. When you are blow drying, you wanna make sure you get as close to the root of your hair as you can. That part plays a huge role in your hair being straight. But this is how it looks after it's done blow dry, being blow dry. It is relatively straight. And now we're gonna move on to the top portion so now I'm doing my front pieces and I'm literally just doing the same thing that I was doing to my back pieces. However, I am blow drying in the direction that my hair will go. I will be doing the middle part. Um, blow drying is really half of the battle. If you get a great blow dry, your silk press is going to be bomb. So the straighter your blow dry, the straighter your silk press will be. And 
period this is it all blow dried out it is relatively straight i am happy um i really got a great blow dry in so this is gonna be a really really good soup press Okay, so I'm going to be going in with my Chai Air flat arms. Um, I'm going to part out my middle part now, and then I'm going to begin to section my hair off into three. Now that I'm done sectioning my hair off, I'm going to take my rat tail comb and part a part into the section that I'm about to be working on. After that, I'm going to split this section in half. The key to getting a really straight silk press is flat ironing small sections at a time. Now I'm going to take my flat iron and I'm going to start at the root of my hair. You want to get those roots, bring it down while running my comb through it at the same time. This ensures that your hair is going to be really, really straight. Get those roots, ladies. As I'm flat ironing, you can already see how silky straight it is. I go over the section like once or twice, not too much. So this is just that small section that I just went over. As you can already see, it's very silky and really straight. So we're just gonna continue on doing the same thing with this entire section. So the same thing, part you a section, split that section in half. Make sure do not get lazy and try to do the whole section because your silk press is not going to be as straight as it can be. Follow the same steps until we are done and on to the next section. So this is what that entire back section looks like after I have flat ironed it. It is so straight, so silky, it's giving no fuzz, anything. So then I went ahead and did the other section and this is what both back sections look like and I am in love. It is so straight, so silky, it is giving, yes, it looks so good. Now we're going to move on to the front sections. With these sections, you want to do the same exact thing. You just want to flat iron the hair in the, in the direction that you want it to lay. So I'm doing the middle part, so I'm literally just flat ironing it in the direction that I want my hair to lay. Also, don't forget to flat iron those edges, honey. with my whole head i'm just gonna do my edges and then i'm gonna show you guys how it turned out so i'm just gonna lay them edges really fast and this is the final look it is so straight it's so silky i love it i can literally just run my fingers through it um and yeah, that, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I hope you guys learn something. You can leave in the comments if you're going to try this at home. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys, and I will see you next video.